everyone and welcome to my channel Queen Sunbeam Tarot. I hope all is well with you and your beautiful family. So today as you can see by that title we will be diving into what don't you see okay. So I will be looking into the things that you are not aware of today. So what I need for you to do is get calm, get relaxed, get into a nice vibe. That way you can be guided by your intuition when looking at these options to choose from. So once you feel like you are calm and relaxed, then go ahead and check out these options that you have to choose from. You have option number one with this clear quartz stone. Option number two with this green adventuring stone. Option number three with this polished amethyst stone. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Polished amethyst. Okay. So those are the options that you have that you can choose from. Once you feel like you know which one is calling out to you, then go ahead and hit that description box and click on the timestamp for whichever one you feel the most drawn to. And then I will see you at your pile selection. If anything I say today resonates for you, then please give me a big fat like, comment, and subscribe to join the Sunstar family. And then also hit that description box one more time and check out my Instagram where I do more pick a cards there. Now let's begin the video. All right, option number one with the clear quartz stone. Let's see what it is that you don't see. All right, let's see what's going on with you. With the tarot, we have here three of swords, three of voices, knight of emotions, knight of cups, and queen of emotions, queen of cups. I feel like some of you guys may have been dealing with somebody that was extremely immature and and I say this in a relationship sense like maybe some of you guys were in a relationship with someone that was really immature or that did not take your feelings or your heart into consideration it could have been a romantic relationship or it could have just been somebody close to you somebody that you really cared about didn't take your feelings into consideration and hurt you in some way okay but i feel like this is something that you're on track to overcoming as well with the queen of cups here but like this is something that you're on track to overcoming maybe this is something that you've been working on um i feel like this is something that may have happened in order to allow you to emotionally mature as well okay so let's get some clarifiers out here get some more cards out here to see what's going on sure I didn't have more cards all right night of emotions Knight of cups yeah okay five of Pentacles Knight of swords And three of swords again. Okay. Um, yeah, so with the knight of emotions, knight of cups, I feel like if this is you, then I feel like you've definitely like I feel like you feel like there is there is a lack here. There is a feeling of maybe worthlessness, like worthlessness, hopelessness. Okay. Um or this is something that you may have felt or dealt with. Three of voices being clarified by Knight of Swords. I feel like if this is a person that's done this to you, that's hurt you, I feel like maybe they were very verbally abusive, very um, argumentative, and very petty and childish. Yeah, I feel like maybe this is something that has hurt you. You've cried over this multiple times or 
And then with the Queen of Emotions, it's like maybe this. I feel like this is all, and this is all to really help you maybe reconnect. I feel like this is all in order to really help you reconnect. I want to get even more cards out here because this is crazy. I mean, this is pretty insane to have two three of swords coming out so it's like you were really 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 hurt you were really hurt um by whatever this was whatever this is for you okay because it could be different for all of you guys um let's get some more cards out here see what's going on rejoice and celebration and solar plexus chakra now i do believe this is your willpower chakra as well yeah where your willpower comes from your chakra um your confidence excuse me your confidence comes from we have two threes here okay we have three 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 here so wow i feel like yeah this I, this may have just all been to in order to grow you to help you to tap into your own inner willpower and to help you to gain confidence as well in yourself i feel like i did get this sense of all of this hurt all of this pain in order to reconnect you back to self and to grow you on an emotional level okay and like really grow you and a part of growing sometimes means having to go through pain painful lessons that nobody really wants to go through right so I feel like that's something that you may have been dealing with. I feel like you are seeing things clearly now or you want to, you did choose the clear quartz. I feel like you do want to see things clearly, more clearly now, um, more differently now. Um, but I feel like you, what you don't see is that all of this hurt, all of this pain was meant to empower you, was meant to help you to grow in on an emotional level was meant to teach you multiple things, multiple lessons, okay? And what you don't see is that you will be able to get to a better part of life if that's something that you've been searching for as well. I feel like maybe in your relationships with people, you've been disappointed a lot, okay? You've been disappointed a lot when it comes to your relationships with others. Um, or maybe it's just your relationships with yourself um you've been kind of disappointed you know it's kind of what i'm kind of picking up on so like maybe you've been really disappointed in yourself or <sighs> talking to yourself negatively or feeling like you're worthless or that you don't have what it takes to lead a good life um yeah i feel like what you don't see is that you do have what it takes to lead a good life and that you are not worthless and that none of this pain was for no reason like everything has a reason all right so let me get some more cards out here Okay, we have North Node Destiny wanting to come out. So yeah, all of this pain was a part of your destined experience, was a, probably a part of your soul contract, something that you were meant to experience in order to grow. Okay. Yeah, we have Venus Love. So this could be a love situation, like a romantic partner, okay? Um, maybe this was to teach you a lot of lessons in love in order to find that person find that 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 person that you want that person that does that does truly get you or maybe this was to teach you to love yourself more and treat yourself better and to never settle for less yeah empowerment exactly conjunction empowerment I feel like this is again yeah what you don't see is that all of this pain that you've been through in relationships with other people or even in life even if this is not relationships with other people this was meant to teach you to love yourself and empower yourself and never settle for less yeah so very interesting so what you don't see is that this pain that you may have been look we have sun being at the back of the deck 
So it's about tapping into that inner essence, that soul energy, tapping into your soul's energy and appreciating your soul, appreciating yourself, loving yourself through the pain, through everything that you're going through and growing and, you know, learning how to take better care of yourself, learning how to love yourself more. It's like that, that um, beautiful part of life you know that you may not be seeing right now is something that is definitely more than um more than capable of happening for you so keep that in mind okay what you don't see is that you will be able to get to that better joyous part of life that more happy part of life and experience the better part when it comes to love and relationships but it's going to be a choice that you have to make you have to make the choice to move through your pain and tap into your solar plexus chakra. Work on that if you would like, especially if you feel like your power has been taken from you. Um, it's up to you to tap into that solar plexus energy, your own inner willpower, and make the choice to continue to move forward and believe that the happiness and joy that you want is possible in order to and, and, and believe that you can empower yourself and that you are empowered. What I realized recently was that um, I don't need a certain level of, ex of success to feel empowered or to be empowered. I have a lot of things that were dark in my story that I overcame because I chose to overcome it. So that means that I'm already empowered. I have already you know I've faced the darkness and I feel like you faced the darkness as well but I've made that choice to continue to move forward in a positive direction and every time I make that choice to continue to move over like move forward positively um, it's me choosing to empower myself along my journey so you have the option to do the same I just want you to know that okay so let's see what else it is that you don't see double mission light worker starseed serve the world by being you so i feel like 100 percent you guys could be a light worker or a star seed it's it's usually the light worker or the star seed that experiences the most harsher things when it comes to life in order to you know help others and help themselves so always continue to be who you are who you truly are when you have these negative emotions that show up um just allow for them to really allow for them to surface and accept them and accept who you are and accept where you've been where you're going and the things that you've experienced okay um what else do we have here called soul gifts training it's time to step step up okay so yeah, I definitely feel like you guys could be light worker star seeds, okay? But um, yeah, I feel like maybe this whole experience that was negative has probably awakened you, you know, awakened you to a lot of things, okay? Um, with the soul gifts and training. So I feel like this is something that you may have experienced in a past life as well. This pain that you're going through may have been experienced in your past life and maybe it's just up to you to work through it this life okay but whatever the case it's it's like again it's time to step up we got that called so like again it's up to you on what you choose to do with your pain it's always up to us on what we choose to do with our pain with the things that we experience and with our life so you know when you feel ready and not a moment before that when you feel ready and not a moment before that step into your own empowerment step into your own power and move forward you know keep moving forward when you're ready okay so i guess what you don't see guys is that everything that you've been through was meant to empower you everything happened for a divine reason a divine purpose and you are a star seed a light worker you can help others who've been through the same things that you've been through and it's time for you to work on yourself and you know step up to what you feel called to do and you will what you don't see as well is you will be able to experience the better parts of life and the joy and the love that you want all right so last card okay. 
So work on your root chakra and your solar plexus chakra if you've been dealing with these dark emotions. And if you want to tap into your own, um, for one, your root chakra, if you want to tap back into your soul and your solar plexus chakra, if you want to feel more empowered, okay? All right, so it says security. To feel more secure, deepen your connection with nature, root chakra. So you guys can definitely put your feet in the grass to feel a little bit more secure. It's about grounding. I feel like once you feel more grounded, you'll step out of all of this water energy in order to, you know, get back to who you truly are, get back to who you are, whether you've experienced this pain through other people or not in relationships or not. It's important to get back to who you are, okay? Um yeah and that security that you guys want i feel like you will be able to get it you will be able to accomplish it as well something you need to know all right so that's what i have for you for what don't you see i really hope you enjoyed it option number one if you did please give me a big fat like comment and subscribe to join the sunstar family and then also hit that description box one more time and check out my instagram where i do more pick the cards there all right option number two let's go ahead and get into what don't you see if you chose this green adventuring stone then this will be your reading for what don't you see let's start with the tarot we have here queen of materials queen of pentacles six of inspiration six of wands and ten of emotions ten of cups guys wow Ten of Cups. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Whoa. I was not expecting that after the reading. I just did. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> Queen of Materials. Queen of Pentacles. And I feel like if material success is what you want, then you are definitely on the horizon. You're definitely getting closer and closer to that. I definitely feel like this is something that you're not seeing so this leads this leads me to believe um, that maybe you guys are not feeling the very best right now when it comes to believing in yourselves so I feel like what you don't see is that this is the most best time for you to believe in yourself this is the most best time for you to achieve your goals and continue to go after the things you want okay it's a good time to feel inspired it's a good time to feel like you are on top of your game it's a good time to um, um, tackle that thing that you want that that thing that you want to emotionally fulfill you option number two okay um, and the indicators are from each and every card. The queen of materials, the queen of pentacles has everything she needs in regards to materials. Okay. The six of wands is someone who is getting recognition. Someone who, um, has reached a certain level of success. That doesn't mean that they have everything that they want, but with the 10 of emotions coming out as well, it's like emotional fulfillment. Um, a long road, a long journey to get to emotional fulfillment. So it's like you guys, you guys are on track for success. All right, so let's see what it, what else it is you don't see. Let's clarify. I feel like the question that you should be asking yourself is why are you not seeing this? Why are you not believing this as well? Yeah. So this fear of scarcity, this fear of not having enough, this fear that leads you to hold on to everything that you do have out of fear of not having enough needs to be gone, needs to be let go of. So that you can step into this role that you will be playing in your future as your future self you will be playing this role in the future of having enough of having enough material wealth if that's something that you want now with the six of inspiration six of wands being clarified by three of cups I feel like this is a place that you can most definitely get into like 
having all aspects of yourself all aspects of yourself the good the bad the ugly the great having all of it together having conquered the good the bad the great just having conquered it all um is something you can definitely accomplish okay i feel like yeah there is a cause for celebration in your future you're going to be overcoming these these fears or these emotions that just no longer serve you we have the eight of swords here okay four we have the four of pentacles three of cups and the eight of swords so what i'm seeing here is that this is just mental fears and mental blocks that may be getting in the way of um maybe getting in the way of your success or the things that you want so it's really on account of you it's really on account of what you believe it's really on account of what it is that you know that your intuition is telling you that you may be ignoring okay so i feel like yeah that the like everything that you want is within reach there's just some fears that need to be released okay like fear of not having enough fear of you know probably fear this is probably a fear of success is what it looks like as well what you don't see is that you may have a fear of success and a fear of not having enough okay and that may be the one the two things that may be holding you back from the things that you truly want okay so keep that in mind and also what you don't see is that everything you want to accomplish is within reach yeah but i feel like you just may be fighting against yourself maybe there's other people involved that get in your ear and make you feel confused like you can't um accomplish something that is definitely something that you can accomplish so let's see what else we have here new beginnings yeah if you want a new beginning and a new emotional start that's definitely possible if you want a new financial start that's definitely possible like if you want more money if you want more love in your life if you just want success that's definitely possible love begins exactly some of you guys want love in a relationship you know some of you guys want a, a partner that you can enjoy a partner that gives you that emotional um satisfaction and, and just happiness you know and that's something that you can definitely have you just have to stop holding yourself back from everything that you want okay um let's see what else i'm seeing yeah some of you guys just want a new start in love some of you guys just want um more more financial success as well some of you guys want your soul family. Okay, we have Saturn Wisdom. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys are definitely financially smart, okay? Like, maybe that is one of the things, like maybe you hold on too much, too much to your money, you know? Okay, we have Square Challenge coming out. Pluto transformation I feel like you guys <laughs> I also feel like if it's not a fear of of lack of not having enough I feel like it's a fear of change with this square challenge and Pluto transformation coming out in wisdom like it's just like I feel like you guys may fear change okay I feel like you could be a Taurus you could be a, a earth sign a Virgo a Taurus or have that somewhere in your chart or a Capricorn yeah, isn't it Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo? I do believe, yeah. All right, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Anyways, <laughs> um, but yeah, so Pluto transformation, square challenge, wisdom. So it's like, allow yourself to transform, you know? If you feel like things are changing in your life or you feel like, you know, maybe it's time to take a new path. Maybe it's time for me to change something internally, or maybe there's maybe it's time for me to move or change an environment. Or do do that, you know. Do what you feel guided towards doing. Okay. Um, let me 
15. Well, you, I feel like what you also don't see is that you are wise enough to make the right decisions when it comes to yourself. You are more than capable of moving forward in a positive direction. Um, I feel like what you don't see is, I feel like you need to trust yourself, trust your own soul, soul's wisdom as well. Like you don't see that you need to trust yourself more, your own soul wisdom more, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Okay, we have empathic starseed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. So that's could that could also be what this is about, especially if you're like, what? What is she talking about? Like, I, I I need to let go of this fear of lack. I need to, you know, let go of these fears of this. Like, well, listen, if this is not something that you feel like you fear, then who are you carrying it for? You know, you could be an empath and this could just be something in your energetic field that you picked up from someone someone else, which is what I kind of picked up on. Like, I feel like maybe there's somebody that said something to you that was very fearful of something. Um, and maybe it just, you know, it, it stuck with you. You know, being an empath, we absorb a lot of things that are not our own. And sometimes we just, you know, Sometimes we have to go through those low vibrational emotions to get through it and, you know, release these things that are not ours. So if this is, if you don't even have these fears, then, you know, who did you pick it up from and how, how can you release it? How can you reground your energy and move forward in a better direction? All paths lead home, inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. Yeah, I think this is what we've been talking about, guys. When I seen the Pluto, Pluto transformation, square challenge, and Saturn wisdom, it was saying it plain and clear that there needs to be an inner discussion. You know, there needs to be an inner discussion. There needs to be a, a trusting of your own inner wisdom, of your soul's wisdom, and your soul's guidance, and not questioning it. Okay, and not allowing other people's energies to make you question yourself. I feel like if you became more aware of when you pick up on other people's energies, you pick up other people's energies. If you became more aware, then I feel like it would be easier for you to, um, easier for you to, you know, release those energies because you'll know when you pick them up. Um, if you don't know what kind of empath you are, if you don't even know what what an empath is, I have a video on my channel. Go ahead and check that out. Um, if you do know about being an empath as well, all right, you know what it means to be an empath and all of that, then, you know, just try to be more aware of when you're picking up certain energies. Remember who you are. I also have um, a video of tips for empaths as well. You can check that out as well. It's on my channel. Um, but yeah, so and one of those tips is to remember who you are, you know, one of those ways where you can um, remember that or know that you picked up on somebody else's energy and it's not your own. One of the ways is to remember who you are. Are you normally this optimistic person? Are you normally like happy and, you know, positive? Um, and then all of a sudden you're trapped in your head. Like, listen, when you're trapped in your head, you need to remember that this is not you and that you need to ground and root your energy and focus on your root chakra. Maybe go outside, connect with nature and regain that balance and connect back to your soul. OK, because sometimes we can melt into other people's energies. It's kind of what I like to call it, melting into other people's energies, kind of forgetting who we are for a split second there and making other people's problems our own. So just keep that in mind because um, I feel like this is what you're not seeing because it's showing up in the cards. But I do feel that you will overcome this, OK, and you will move forward in a positive direction. Option number two. And I feel like there are new things coming forth, new energies coming forth for you. And I I feel like you're gonna be very very happy in your future just keep working on yourself you know every time you know every now and again we do fall back into certain ways and do certain things that may be you know deemed low vibrational but it doesn't mean that we can't pick ourselves right back up and get right back on track so you know it is up to you make the choice you know when when you're ready make your choice all right so let's get a um, final card for you But to make it clear, what you don't see is that you have to look within, trust your intuition, um, look look within for the wisdom and guidance that you may be searching for 
and release certain fears that may be holding you back from your own success, okay? And what you don't see is that you need to ground your energy as well. All right, let's get a final card. There we go. So we have here vulnerability. Showing vulnerability is a sign of strength, throat chakra. So maybe some of you guys need to open up about how it is that you've been feeling with somebody that you truly trust, okay? Um, I feel like this would be very helpful because it'll help you to be able to release the energy that you've been holding within and not saying anything. Um, and it'll help you feel less stuck. So if you feel called to go ahead and speak to somebody that you feel very much so that you trust and show them that vulnerable side because a lot of the time being empathic, being an empath, it can definitely, um, or being just sensitive, it can definitely feel like you're there for everybody else and you have to be there for everybody else and you can't be there for yourself um, or that there's nobody there or that there's nobody there to be there for you. But it's, it's up to you. If you choose to be vulnerable with somebody, then you give the opening for somebody to come in and be there for you to help you out of a bad situation. So keep that in mind as well. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please give me a big fat like, comment, and subscribe to join the Sunstar family. And then also hit that description box and check out my Instagram where I do more pick a cards there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Option number three, let's see what it is that you don't see. If you chose this amethyst stone, then this will be your, this will be your reading for what don't you see. All right, we have awakening, which is the judgment card okay and then we have seven of inspiration which is seven of wands and then we have page of emotions which is the page of cups okay so wow you guys are waking up to something that you've been feeling deep deep within Maybe it's that you, maybe I'm hearing like, I heard that I'm better off, I'm better off alone, but that's, I mean, that may be true for you, but I feel like there is something opening up for you soon or something that's going to change your mind soon. But let me go ahead and clarify, guys. Okay, so judgment. I feel like, yeah, there's something you're waking up to deep within, okay? Um, yeah, deep within. It's like maybe it has something to do with the Seven of Wands. This is something that maybe you've been fighting. Okay, yes. <laughs> this is something that maybe you've been fighting with the Seven of Wands. It's like something's waking up within you, possibly for another person. Like maybe you're starting to have feelings for somebody, but you thought that you would always be alone and that you wouldn't be willing to open up to these new feelings and um yeah you know that's something that you don't see i feel like if this has not happened yet then this is something that will happen in the future and i feel like you watching this is probably like nah i think i'm okay being by myself but it's like in the future you're gonna open up to somebody that sparks an emotion sparks this feelings within you but let me go ahead and clarify them. Hey. Okay, we have the star. This is also something that's going to be very healing for you as well. The lovers yeah yeah I'm hearing that song don't stop believing <laughs> yeah love it okay two of swords you're gonna have to make this decision to either open up to this person or not um if you're already in a relationship then I must say that maybe there's just something that I feel like if you're already in a relationship, maybe you're opening up more to your partner and like this creates a, a level of healing between the two of you and strengthening of this relationship. Okay, but if you're not in a relationship, I definitely feel like 
you know, and you're single, I feel like, I feel like you're gonna be opening up to somebody new. I feel like you're gonna be opening up to somebody new or you're gonna have to make the decision to open up to somebody new. That's something that you don't see. Um, yeah, I wanna clarify more. Yeah, with the Four of Swords, this is something that's definitely gonna be healing for you. This is a relationship that's gonna be healing for you. Whether it's a friend or not, it's definitely something that's gonna be healing for you. Yeah, cause you've been pushing people away and carrying burdens by yourself, okay? You've been making the decision to just be by yourself and carry all of this weight alone, but it's something that, that's not something that is serving you. Page of Emotions with the, Yeah, you've kind of been closed off. Your heart's been kind of a little bit closed off because maybe you've had to deal with dealing with some um, tough emotions when it comes to, yeah, some tough emotions when it comes to other people with the five of swords coming out. One, two, three, four, five, yep. Five of swords coming out for sure. Yeah, you've possibly had to deal with some tough emotions, tough relationships that taught you a lot. Okay, but um, whether you've been through some tough relationships or not, you don't have to go through it alone. You don't have to go through things alone. You don't have to push people away. Is that's, that's something that you don't see, is that you don't have to push people away um, out of fear that they'll continue to hurt you. You just have to choose the right people to love you or to love, you know? Choose the right people to love. Choose the right people that feel aligned with your energy, okay? Choose the people that will heal you, help you, help you heal, you know, <clears throat> not people that <clears throat> and speak up to people as well. Not people that drain your energy. You know what I'm saying? Don't keep people around that just drain your energy and take and take and take and just make you feel worthless. No, that's not the people that you need, whether it be a family member, whether it be a friend, whether it be a partner. OK, I feel like it's important for you. What you don't see is that you need some healing you need some rest you need to be reborn again in order to let go of all of the things that no longer serve you in relationships or in life okay because there's some heavy things that you're just continuing to carry in your in your energetic field and maybe it's time to just release it let it go and move on aries the radical Jupiter expansion. It's time to move forward and expand and move on. It is. Yeah. It's time for your luck to change as well. Gemini the butterfly. Yeah. All right. Let me see what I'm getting. Aries. Yeah yeah mm -hmm. it's time to take action option number three you've learned a lot of spiritual lessons you've been through a lot of things that were uncomfortable now it's time for you to decide i know okay let me just clarify i've picked up on energy in the beginning of somebody coming in that will be very healing to you that you will have to make the choice to open up to. That's somewhere in the future down the line, okay? Um, whether you're in a relationship or not, it's important that you recognize which people are draining your energy and which people are, um, you know, helping you be better, helping you to heal. Clear out those people that's just draining your energy and causing you to be um, in chaos and conflict, you know, mentally. Clear out those peoples, those things, those whatever the energy is that needs to be cleared out. It could be just within. It could be your own self. Just keep in mind and take what resonates for you. But um, yeah, so like again, some of you guys need to open up and speak and use your throat chakra and talk to people about, you know, how it is you feel that you've been treated. And, and again, like I said, clear out those people that don't serve you and don't fear that you won't find other people that do because you will. 
all right you guys could be also very sensitive as well and very intuitive you definitely learned a lot along your way along your spiritual journey so i definitely believe it it's time for you to really empower yourself i feel like what you don't see is that people in your life may be draining your energy or things in your life may be draining your energy and you cannot continue to go at it alone you have to open up about how you've been feeling and speak to other people about what it is that you've been dealing with speak to people that you actually trust people that just don't take if you have nobody in your life that 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 treats you how you deserve to be treated or how you want to be treated then don't entertain the people don't continue to entertain the people that you know aren't for you, okay? Um, and and be willing to be vulnerable with new people in order to find the right people, okay? Um, and take time out to heal as well. Take time out to be alone and heal. And remember that you are never alone, okay? Remember that when you take time out to just be by yourself, you still have your spirit guides. You still have spirit and angels in the spiritual realm to help you to help you work through these low vibrational energies so pray prayer as well could be very helpful okay but yeah what you don't see is that it's time to nurture you take care of you and be open open your heart let's see what else we have here though fertility wisdom Yeah, I feel like you guys are stepping into a better place though. I feel like in the future, you're definitely stepping into a better place. Some of you guys in the future, what you don't see is that you'll be finding a, a, uh, a new relationship with someone, having a new relationship with someone. Some of you guys may be having kids in the future as well with this fertility card. But I feel like in the future, you're gonna be very wise, okay? I feel like you're wise now and you're learning how to like take the wisdom from the pain of the experiences that you've been through. But um, I feel like you're going to be very wise in the future and I feel like you're going to be very successful or abundant in your future as well, okay? And I feel like all of, this, all of these things that you are working through is to lead you to this place in the future of having a lot of wisdom and having a lot of creative energy, you know, as well. Uh, yeah, and it's happening... Th th these things are happening in order for you to step up in your life as well is what i'm getting with this aries and gemini it's like step up in your life and speak about what it is that you want to say without fear okay yeah and expand out but the jupiter expansion i feel like you're you're constantly changing okay you're constantly changing things are constantly changing um in your life so absorb whatever wisdom that you can along the way but what you don't see is that but i told you already what you don't see is that people people places things in your life some of it needs to go and some of your focus or maybe all of your focus needs to be on yourself in your own personal healing okay and making making your life what you want it to be see what else we have portal doors are opening you decide rewards wild card so yes yeah, like i feel like at any moment <laughs> at any moment you can just step through this portal and choose to see life in a better way and experience life in a different way a better way a more loving healing way but I feel like you have to be open to it. With that seven of um, of wands, it's like, do you truly fear that if you're open, if you open up to the things that you feel, you know, if you open up to people, that you won't get the response back in return that you truly desire, or the people that you truly desire? It's like there's only one way to find out. All right, you're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. Yeah, so you could be isolating yourself for sure. Some of you could be isolating yourself. Like again, with that seven of wands was that indicator of isolation, thinking that you can carry it all by yourself, but you don't have to. You know, yeah, you've been hurt in the past by other people, but what you don't see is that you don't have to carry it all alone. I've said this already as well. You don't have to carry it alone. You can heal, you can 
you know, be vulnerable with people that you trust. You know? Let me see if there's anything else I'm getting. Yeah, and I feel like this is also saying again what I said. If you choose to open up and be vulnerable to certain people, then you're definitely, you know, there's not no, there's no guarantee that, sorry about that. There's no guarantee that the people that you open up to will hurt you. So choose wisely. You know, it's always your choice. Choose who you feel that you trust and open up to them. And let's see, let's get you another card. But you guys are learning and growing and moving past these energies. That's something that you may not be seeing right now. I feel like it's it's your choice. The choices that you make, like what you don't see is that the choices that you make are, are making your reality, you know, what it is. And what it is that you believe is making your reality what it is as well. So if you're like, okay, I'm just going to isolate myself and not talk to anybody and not be open with anybody. But as I'm isolating myself, I'm feeling like I'm completely alone, like nobody cares, like I'm worthless, like I'm nothing. Then it's like, stop isolating yourself and talk to people that you feel like you can be vulnerable with. If you feel like there's no one you can be vulnerable with, then be vulnerable to spirit. You know, take that spiritual journey, take that spiritual path and just say, you know what? If I have nobody on this earthly plane, then I will at least talk to spirit. I will at least talk to my angels. I will at least talk to my ancestors and maybe they can give me the guidance that they need. That I'm assuming that I need, right? So keep that in mind. All right, let's get you a final card. Oneness, you are part of the universe and always will be. Yeah, crown chakra. So like, again, it's like, it's your mental, okay, focus on your crown chakra and your root chakra, okay? Um, do some meditations with that. I feel like it's your crown chakra and it's your crown chakra maybe you have an overactivated crown chakra possibly yeah but it's like what you may need to do is just root ground get back into your center get back to who you truly are but with the you are a part of the universe and always will be oneness it's like this is like what i was saying that everything is connected option number three everything is connected the things that you're experiencing in your reality everything that you're seeing in your reality the choices that you're making and the things that you believe is what's making your reality. So if you want things to change for the better, then choose differently and believe differently. Okay, so that's kind of what I have for you. Option number three. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big fat like, comment and subscribe to join the Sunstar family. And then also hit that description box one more time and check out my Instagram where I do more pick a cards there.